Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to what I hope to be the last video showing us building the new deck, our 12 by 10 deck on the back of our home. Previous video was, I, I thought, the end of construction. Although Angela dropped a bombshell and said, not so fast. What in the world are we doing today? We are gonna be adding some finishing touches and making it feel a little more homey on our deck. Okay, truth be told, I knew that what I'm about to show you was still on our to-do list, and it's just that we decided to put it in this video rather than the last one where we did the stairs. What I have here is a metal post cap. We got these to go on top of all of our handrail posts to prevent them from splitting and cracking and just rotting or looking rough and terrible. We have some basic metal ones we got from the hardware store. I like these because they are black, they are really well painted, and they are solid. Also, you don't screw them or attach them to your post in a mechanical way. To me, that says, all right, my odds of splitting the wood apart at the last second with a screw should be minimal. The way you attach these is you use a either construction glue or in our case, some of this Lexel sealant, put a bead around the inside and you squish it in place. Within about 24 hours, it cures up, sets, and is perfectly fine. Keeps the water off and stays put but also gives you the option to where you can pry it off if you ever want to do anything different down the line of the future. You don't need a whole lot on this. It's just enough just to stick it down there. And when you're there, stick it down. Look at that. Nice, clean, pretty appearance, and it keeps the post nice and safe. I really like how the post caps finish off the deck. It looks really good. And whenever you glue them like that, they're really fast to install. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> she could barely get one out of the pack and open it before I had one done and was moving on to the next. Right. So we had ourselves a little square dance out here on a rectangular deck. <laughs> so that's it, right? Deck's done? Not quite. We got some stuff to make the deck feel a little more homey. Like I say, we, I was totally an accomplice. You were an accomplice. Actually, I was. I was an instigator and encourager. You were. We couldn't very well have a nice new deck and not have anything to put on it. True. Nobody likes sitting on the bottom floor of a deck. <clears throat> so the first thing we are going to add up here is a nice umbrella because I have to say it gets quite sunny and quite hot out here. Absolutely. So let's get our new umbrella and put it together. Some assembly required. Go ahead. You do the bottom. Where? I gotta cut these off. Yeah, I can get the tape. I feel more comfortable with tape with knives. I can cut in the way for myself. Do you want the scissors? No. one right here. Oh, I see it. It's got a ribbon attached to it. Hardware inside. More than one person may be required to assemble this product. No problem. Well, this is pretty neat. We've never had an umbrella like this. Um, truthfully, it was on clearance and less than half the price, which was amazing. 
we so think this is where we want it but it's kind of hard to tell without putting other things on here so let's see what else we got let's see what i think all right go out that way oh how nice now what was it that you said you wanted to do out here legos so do you think you might be able to do your legos out here now yeah we have a rug you shouldn't lose any Legos on the porch. It was important when we were looking at the rugs to make sure it was an outdoor rug that water would go through so it wouldn't get cruddy and yucky. So the boys would still be able to come out here and play on it and not think it's nasty. So I think this fits the bill. So when we went looking for a patio set to put up here as far as patio furniture, we knew we wanted something that they actually call a conversation set which is kind of like a little love seat and two chairs with like a little coffee table rather than getting like a dining table with four to six chairs with it. We didn't really want that type. We wanted something a little more relaxed out here for us while the boys go out and play. Well, we went to several stores and those are very pricey to get any kind of set like that. Um, you're talking about 600 plus and that's not really in our budget that's not really what we wanted to do so we happen to be at the end of the season there's a lot of clearances going on right now and we got to one of the stores and they had the display for sale so i went and asked if they had any additional discounts could they do on it because it was kind of scratched had a stain on one of the seats that type thing and they said sure we'll knock off a little bit more so we got it at a better deal and we were also able to add a couple little extras to go with it that were marked down as well some as much as half so that was really nice too so let's take a look at what we decided to get so these are the cushions that came with the set they are a little flat I mean they're okay but I like something a little more plush so in comes the new cushions that we found again these were on clearance too which made it a lot easier and it's red so it brings in the color of our umbrella and it's gonna add a lot more cush than it had before So whenever you come up the steps on our deck, you will see the major thing, which is our umbrella. But we wanted to still use that space a little bit, so we took our coffee table and kind of set it catty corner over the side of it so we can still utilize that space and not have a lot of dead space, which we don't like. I mean, you want to use every bit you got. Our set came with two chairs the coffee table and the little love seat. They didn't have the red cushions for the love seat, but we found that we could add the two pads for the chairs onto the back of the seat here and give us extra cush. We may look for cushions later on, but right now I think it's absolutely fine. This is actually a lot more than I kind of anticipated. The umbrella, it's kind of weird that it's over on the side, but it casts shadow on a good part of the deck for the time of day that we're gonna be out here. So this is a lot more than we had really anticipated and this set is a lot nicer than anything we have ever had. I really like it.
Welcome to the finished back deck, right? We're finished, right? I think we are, finally. Good, yes. It feels great to literally just sit down for a minute. We have been going nonstop five months now, right? It, probably more than that, but yeah. Oh, well, we had the five month anniversary in the camper. Yes. So there's the, uh, but we're almost there. Um, having the deck done is an awesome place to hang out. As you can see, we are chillaxing out here in the very end of the day. Once the sun goes down and the heat goes away, it's very pleasant. It is, definitely. I uh, put up some solar lights that were sent to us from a viewer. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, we look forward to seeing how these things light up tonight. I'll be sure and put a clip at the end of the lights whenever it's dark and everything. Um, I put them on all the posts on the deck and in the corners they look a little bit crowded but I couldn't figure out another way that I liked so we'll more just... light is okay though yeah yeah it is definitely like having a little bit of light out here because it can be a little bit scary coming outside at night when there are woods especially behind you you don't know what sort of critters are gonna be coming yep Angela and Elijah have um, acquired a tactic when they go outdoors what is it you guys do whistle, whistle or, or <laughs> hum or sing because you don't know if there's something in the woods watching you so that's oh much there's it. stuff everywhere watching you you just don't want yeah. to come out and touch you right <laughs> we have a couple of cameras up around the property and as far as wildlife we have caught a red fox a about a million cats feral cats crazy cats we see raccoon tracks a lot. We do, although and, they've not been caught on camera yet. But And then a couple of deer tracks. That, again, yeah. tracks. And then one day, Elijah and I saw like three or four turkey in our woods at the back side of the field. True. So that's good. I'm happy with it. We can leave it at that. We don't need a petting zoo or a mauling station. Uh -uh, We're good. No. <laughs> the majority of land out here is farmland, so there's not much wild areas for things to go wild at our last place in North Carolina there was a lot more deer and stuff like that there mm -hmm. so our property butted up to I think about a hundred acres of wild no one's out there land but hey this is pretty comfortable we're sitting on our love seat here or I guess it's a love seat right it has yeah. to be three cushions to be a couch I think so so we're chilling on a love seat you guys are on the rug there and then as you've seen from the footage we got our some chairs nice background here the well, yeah it is and as you can see yes that's where the sun sets this completes the back deck and this actually completes the required construction for us to get our co after this we're going to move inside we're going to finish out the trim and molding indoors that's my criteria it's what i want to do but at the same time we're going to have our hvac and electrical contractors do their parts on finishing hooking up the home and our mini splits and then we're done as crazy as it sounds that's it so uh, definitely stick around for those videos as far as the interior work and absolutely moving day that'll be madness and all the other exciting things to come so hopefully you did enjoy this deck build if you did not see the previous videos the entire deck build is chronicled below there's a playlist any detail you want to know as far as how Sam and Angela build a pretty sturdy back deck you can check it out it's there for you to view we now have front deck and back deck right all decked out <laughs> well guys thanks for coming along with us as we finish this up if you have any questions or comments leave them below otherwise we will see you guys next time on the homestead see you guys bye a little bit of bonus footage here's how we fold the umbrella down it's a little bit weird being that it's a suspended umbrella so i don't know it's it's cool. It's great to have the open space. It's just a little bit weird. Kind of reminds me of a flower petal or something as far as whenever it folds up and kind of droops down and over but it's cool it definitely is out of the way and is pretty easy to put up so all right we'll see you guys in a second for that nighttime footage and then it'll be a blooper reel you know that's coming 
So, stick around. We decided to put the. Okay. You got a fly, friend. I know. I tried to get it off. Sorry. We decided to put the table kind of catty corner over top. The. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead the witness, and you're the witness here. Mhm. Mm but it's still out of the way. It looks really nice. You'll get to see it in a second. See, that's where I'm like. The last video of us building the deck on the back of our 1988, 1988. Palm Harbor single-wide mobile home. What the flip? Are you sure it's focused? It feels really close. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's pretty neat. Wait, We've wait, never... Ah! Oh, come on. Okay. This will be new for us. It will be. Actually, yeah, we've never... Who assembles umbrellas? All right, let's square it up, guys. It's not straight. I don't know what you mean. We have an episode over here. <laughs> nope. Um, I'm gonna have to do something different with this. I guess that's the perk of being surrounded by farmland. Majorly, majorly, that's not a word slow finishing it out and shooting we video. We only have like a few million things going on. <laughs> Just a million! <laughs>